Hi everyone, my name is Leah. I'm part of the Come Up team and thank you for joining me for one of our new videos. So today we're going to discuss something that's very important if you want to become a seller. Uh, it is what makes a good service. So what makes a good service is um, pretty much there is no in-person service. Uh, we don't offer uh, walking of the dogs or any kind of service that has to be sent through the mail or um, in person basically. So everything has to be able to be sent online such as uh, logo design, articles, um, video editing, any files can be transferred online is accepted. You want to have a detailed description, uh, anything that involves your personal journey, um, your experiences, the most detailed description, the better. You have to be honest about the skills that you own and that you can deliver your client. Uh, you want to clearly state your skills and your profile so there is no doubt. Uh, you want to set limits to avoid overwork. That's very important because you don't want to, um, if you're writing an article and you want to write only a one-page article, you don't want to be stuck writing a book. So you want to clearly state that you would write only a thousand words, for example. You want to use a correct image. That is super important because that is what entices the buyer to come to your profile. It also clearly states what you offer. Uh, and your prices are non-negotiable. Your service is your quote, so there is no personalized service on Come Up. So, next, we're going to create a service and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So we're going to choose a specific task and category. Uh, we're going to go through the description, we're going to go through choosing the correct image, the prices, and then we'll get a service validated. Let's begin. So you're, you're going to be on this first screen. So what you want to do is click over here and then in services. So you'll see this page. You'll see all of your approved services already. And then your drafts if you have any. You want to click on new service. And then you can pick English or French, but for the sake of this video, we'll stick with English. And for your title, on come up, we automatically start with I will. So your title has to complete this sentence. Uh, and it's important to use keywords because keywords will make it um, easier for the buyer to find you on our platform. So for example, if you want to do, um, I'm going to pick brochure, for example. I said I will design a brochure in your image. These are keywords that will help the client find me online. The category. If I do brochure, I go down here and I pick graphic design, but you can see there's many different options. And then you want to go to the subcategory and then you can see all the different types. So pick the closest that you have or the closest to your service. Um, so the closest to a brochure would be flyer and poster. So I pick this. If by any reason you accidentally pick the wrong category, you won't be able to change it. But once you validate your service, someone in our team uh, will be able to change it for you. So once you have this, you click save and continue. So you'll have this page. Uh, we'll go through the basic standard and plus premium. So you can see the price, the starting prices are different. Um, with basic, you can start between five and a hundred dollars, plus standard five and two fifty with unlimited options, and five to a thousand with unlimited options. Um, these will also affect the type of layouts you can do on your description. Um, and let's say I want to start with a basic service of twenty five. I will pick it right here. Now let's go further down. So this specific service is based on one of our actual sellers. Her name is Charlotte. So thank you, Charlotte, for helping us with this video. Uh, so in your description, you're gonna, you can start with basically introducing yourself, uh, your experience, what makes your service different, uh, what you can offer to your buyer, um, any benefits, any extras you can really think of. Uh, and then 
What's important is to really define your basic service. So over here you can see what you get for 25 euros. Um, so if, if it's a brochure, you want to specify the amount of pages, the size, uh, how many proposals, the quality, um, the file type, resolution. The, the more detailed, the better. Um, that way your buyer will not have any questions and he won't waste time um, asking questions. He will just be able to purchase right away. And that's what you want. You want it, you want it to be clear and efficient. Uh, you can also d detail your options that you will add eventually. Uh, any elements you think the buyer needs to know before purchasing. Uh, customer testimonials, that's um, a detail that will come later on. Uh, we only have, well, we only accept testimonials from come up. So once you start having your first clients and they start um, leaving reviews, you will be able to add those to your description. Uh, and then you can finish with a little a little message or anything that you think is appealing. Um, then it's important to pick the delivery time for your basic service. So here you can see the maximum is 30 days on come up. Uh, I pick three days. It's important to remember as much as it is mm, appealing to deliver in 24 hours, you want to pick an amount of time that is good for you. Um, it's better to deliver your service or your work in the appropriate, appropriate amount of time than to be late. Um, that will count against you, unfortunately. And just to be safe, like you can pick three days, you can always deliver it beforehand. So it's, it's better to be safe and offer a professional service. Once you have this, also please note that you can go up here, click on this little icon, and it will show you exactly what your service looks like. Of course, we haven't added the pictures yet, but this is what it will look like. So because I'm in premium, I can have different fonts and layouts, and I have this as well. So you can see a little bit what it looks like and then come out and do the changes that you need. So we have set everything. Now you can save and continue. Now you go to your options. You don't have, you don't have to have options if you feel like your basic service is enough. Uh, however, it's always good to have complementary options. So for example, if you offer a logo that is black and white, for an extra fee, you can offer a logo that's in color. Or if you want to add the source file, that's also a very good plus because sometimes the buyer would like to do changes once he receives everything. Uh, so you can have that for an extra fee. Uh, if you offer um, one page flyer brochure, you can have four pages for an extra fee. So anything to kind of complement your service, make it more complete, um, more juicy, I guess you would say, uh, is a good option because that way you can make more money as well. So you save and continue. Then you have the option of express delivery. So you would have it for your basic service and you can pick the amount you wish to add as well as the amount of days express. Uh, you can also add it to your options. Uh, but be sure that if you do offer express delivery that you can actually meet the deadline um, because that will be kind of counterintuitive. So once you have this, you press save and continue. And then you have your instructions. So your instructions will appear to your customer uh, once the order is validated. So it's important to have a little message. You can say, for example, thank you for ordering. Um, now, please send me all the information I need. So for example, um, for logos or brochures, you can ask for any kind of color preference, fonts. Um, for the brochure, you can ask for any kind of content, text or images that the buyer needs to add. Anything that would make your 
workflow or anything that can help you start your work as quickly as possible, basically. And then sometimes, in some instances, in some services, um, you won't need to have instructions. It might be a file that you can just simply send over. Uh, and in that case, you can put no instructions and nothing will appear. And then once you have this, you press save and continue. And now we are at the gallery section. So for the gallery section, uh, you can choose between images and videos. Over here you can see you can add a video. It's very important nowadays to have visuals and a clear image that showcases perfectly what you offer, what type of service you offer, is going to be what brings the buyer to your page. Um, so over here you can see I do brochures, for example. So these are showcasing what type of brochures I have done. Um, please choose uh, images or videos that you own uh, that showcase skills that you have uh, so to not confuse your buyer. And then once you have uploaded all this, also you can see over here, if you don't have any images, you can use the editor to create your own visuals. But since I already have graphics and visuals, I uploaded my own. And then once you're here, you can also go back and check or change anything you have. But once you have the gallery page, this is where you do save and continue. So now you're gonna land on the final page uh, where you just have to click on all these, certifying that you agree with all these terms. You will click save and continue and that will send it directly to one of our teams and we will go through your service uh, and validate it in, in about 12 hours or less. Uh, and that's how you do your service. So your service will be online once our team reviewed it. Uh, at this point, it's important to share it to your online community, your friends, family, any social networks, because the hardest part is to get your first customer. Uh, so don't lose faith. It takes time to build a community, a clientele, uh, but it is possible. We have many sellers that are thriving on our platform. Uh, and be sure to always uh, fulfill your order professionally and get your first reviews and everything will be just fine. And once you complete 10 orders, you will become a verified seller on our platform. So that was it for our video on how to create a service on ComeUp. Uh, thank you very much for joining me and I hope uh, this was interesting and I hope it helps. Thank you.